He was a hard man, was your father, Lively. A hard, hard man. What have you come back for? There's nothing here for you. Go back to where you came from. Leave here. Or what, James Gimley? There's nothing here for you anymore. It's often better to be where you're not supposed to be. She'd know what to do. Um, what are you talking about? Lively. Oh, Lively. Oh, nah, he's probably crashed out in some boozer with his paddy pals. Mm. You tried giving him a bell? Of course I have. I've been ringing and ringing. Fat lot of good that was. Turns out the number he gives me is a phone box in some bog village. I nah, won't worry about it. Lively could look after himself. I think Auntie Pandy wants to go to sleepy bears. Oh. oh, that's typical of you. I'm stupid expecting any help from you. I'll go on my own then. Oh, yeah, go where? Ireland. I'm going to find Lively. And thanks for nothing, Thomas. You go to Ireland? Pippa? Well, you, you don't even know where Ireland is. Stop you. Hold on, hold on, will you? Listen, you can't just go toddling off to a strange country on your Jack Jones. You don't even know where to start looking. Where Lively was born, Ackill Island, it's on the west coast. I'll find him. Head off. And like the idiot I am, I thought I'd start with you. Big joke, eh? Me? Why well, start with me? Well, for some strange reason, I got it into me head that you're a mate of his. Be careful. I'd do anything for Lively, and you know it. Come with me, then. Leave it out. I can't just drop everything. If Sally was here, she wouldn't think twice. But Sally isn't here, is she? And do you know why Muggins isn't with her, lapping up the old current in the Costa del Was name? Because Muggins is a tight git and he wouldn't pay the airfare. I can't just go swanning off at the drop of a hat. So you're not coming with me? I can't. Well, like I said, stuff you and thanks for nothing. Bit... Oi, I've got a business to run. Oh, dear, oh, Lord. I'm a responsible man! Since Almighty God has called our brother Patrick John Ginley from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth from which it was made. And we can be certain in our hearts and in our minds that the soul of this man we all knew and loved, Patrick John Ginley, has been taken into the light of God's presence there to enjoy freedom from all the cares and the pains of this world, and to enter with joy into eternal life. We pray that the soul of our dear friend, Patrick John Ginley, may rest in peace. Amen. Man Patrick, it was easy to find good things to say about your father. Mary, how are you? Fine, thanks, Father. Thank you for the beautiful words. Not half good enough, Mary. A little message from an old friend. God bless you now, Mary. a bit long of the tooth to be having secret rendezvous at ladies. <laughs> Not at all. She are never too old for a bit of romance. You think she'll turn up, though? I mean, it has been a long time, you know. Father O'Connor slipped her mind on. She'll be there all right. This is a very special place for Mary and me, you know. Yeah, I know you told me. About a thousand times, the daft old Egypt. <laughs> all the same, though. 25 years. And you're still soft in the head for her, huh? Well, love is the triumph of imagination over intelligence. Uh -huh. Now, keep your eye on the road. Oh, love is pleasing and love is teasing. Ha uh ha! -huh. Black's killing me. I'm starving. My feet hurt. 
It's my ears that hurt the most. You and your bleeding moaning. This was all your idea, remember? We should never have set foot on that plane. Well, how was I to know it was going to be like this? It was typical. I said we couldn't just swan off willy-nilly. Ah, shut up, will you? That's very constructive, isn't it? It's typical of you. Still, never mind. We've only got another 74 k's to go, haven't we? I mean, if your brain was as big as your mouth... Oh, you know what? I've got brains, you, don't you? One more brain cell. You'd make a good conifer tree. You keep on, that's all. You'll be on the wrong end of a knuckle oh, puppet. Oh, I dream on, you big tart. Yeah. How you doing? OK. Where are you heading from? Uh, Ackill Island. Right. Hop in, so. Hey, what about your father? Um, he'll be all right in the back, thanks. Back with them. Yep. I suppose this is considered first class in this part of the world. All right, steady on, Paddy. John. Hello, Mary. <sighs> God has forgotten how windy it can get up here. <sighs> oh. oh, John. I'll give you sheep in a minute. I feel island, Thomas. Oh, yeah. Nothing like arriving in style, is there? Name's Thomas Jean, not David Bleeding Bellamy. Oh, I must be off my flipping head. Where did she say she was going? She said she was coming straight back here. Not here. Well, she might be inside. I'll go and have a ah, look. Ah, don't be a bigger idiot than you are already. She's here. Where's the car? <laughs> right, back to Ackle. Find her. Come on, James. It could be anywhere on the island. Have a good idea where. I just could never make it out. Our families are friends for years and years and years. So, how did the feud start? Why? I was the time I tried to talk to Father about it, but he just cut the subject off, stone dead. Look, when I was a young lad, your father was always good to me. He always had time for me. Mm. Truth be known, I got along better with him than I did with me own old fella. I was there, remember. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> <laughs> I never did, you know, forget. God, why do they keep us apart? Jesus! Have you no shame? James! Your own father still warm in his grave. And you up here alone, with the likes of him. Now what's wrong with the likes of me? Get yourself down off this mountain, woman. Now! 
I leave just so long as you give me your word that he'll be safe. Take her down, Patrick. Don't touch her, Patrick. Oh! Oh! Jesus! My nose. Broke my nose. In the name of God, will you stop all this? Knock him in the center to the period! How are we doing then, lads? Nice evening for it. Come on. Stay away from us, Lively. You hear? Stay away. Or so help me God. I'll kill you. I'll not forget this, Quinn. God, that's a mighty hair trigger, so it is. <laughs> Would you ever put a smile on that ugly face of yours, Lively? She'll be all right. Your man James is full of hot air. Eyes changed. There's an awful look in his eye. Listen, we all know that that man is two eggs short of a cooked breakfast. <laughs> Still, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe so. But a bachelor is happy and he's free. <laughs> hey, what the hell is going on here? Huh? Jesus. Am I seeing things? Well, you got us lost. Oh, you were a great help, you were, weren't you? Well, you insisted on having the map. I was doing final, so you took over. One more peep out of you, and I'm going to be forced to knock Thomas. out your lamps. Not now, Lively. Lively! <laughs> Pippa! <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Looking for a boozer? Who was it said that Englishmen can't drink, huh? Well, whoever it was, I hadn't met Thomas. He's been known to drink his own bath water. <laughs> oh, God. Wakey, wakey! Ooh. Come on out, you drunken pig! No, Come on, open at him! Yeah, why? Oh, he serves you right. I'm drinking too much last night. Lively's been up and out for ages. Go for it now. Back him off and leave me alone. Come on, get him! I'll sleep with you one of these days. How are you? Quite nice. And what can I be doing for you? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know, but I'd like to have a word with you if you can spare oh, me a few minutes. Oh, holy s... Come on inside for a bit of quiet. Tell me, Lively, why do I have the feeling I'm playing second fiddle here? What, Father? Come on now, Lively. <laughs> We both of us know it's Mary Gindley you'd rather be talking to. Well, it was Mary I wanted to talk to you about, Father. Mary and her family. Is that a fact? I'd never have guessed. Well, now, if you care to take a trip down to Dugort Harbour in, say, 30 minutes? I don't want to take you away from your work, Father. Me, is it? Who said anything about me? Thank you. 
Oh, sorry, Pips. Oh, I love it. Ah! So how are you doing, then? Well, I'm much better now, thanks. You? Yeah, I'm recovering by the minutes. Yeah. God, they do know how to party over here, don't they? <laughs> oh, that Guinness thought we'd never end. Look, you! Oh, you've got to see it, Thomas. It's fantastic, the beat. You still drunk? I'm not drunk. No, I... Uh, listen, uh, are you married? What I mean is, is your wife here at the moment? You've got a very short memory. I told you last night. My dear lady died about ten years oh. ago, so it's just me. And, of course, my daughter, Cassie, she lives and she works in Dublin, but she comes to see me from time to time, you know. But she wouldn't be on a visit now, would she? Well, you met her already, yeah. She was here this morning, bright and early. <laughs> oh, my God. Must be something he drank. <laughs> John Lively, and the reasons why. I swear I'll fight any man, any time, any place, James. But come on, you have to give me a reason. The man's no friend of this family. He's not to be trusted. I guess. No more! Do you hear? No more! Now, come on. We have a farm to run. can I say? Honestly, I thought you were Pippa. And that makes it all right, does it? Well, no. no but I really am sorry. Ah, oh, well. They say it's good for the complexion. <laughs> Nothing could improve your complexion, sweetheart. No, no, that didn't come out right, did it? Look, can we start all over again? I'm not doing too well this morning. Oh, you're doing just fine. For an Englishman, that is. Oh. So, your first trip to Ireland? Yeah, yeah. What do you think so far? Well, the views are great. Especially from where I'm sitting. I'm sure you have a smooth tongue on you. Not bad for an Englishman, though, eh? James and I grew up together. We swam together, we fished together. It still beats me why your family suddenly turned against me. Whatever the reason James knows, he knows, but he won't let on. Nah, there's no reason. Then why have you and I spent the last 25 years apart, John Lively? I don't know, it's mad. Once they realized how we felt about each other, that was it. <laughs> Jesus, was I that bad a prospect? You were surely not. Well, when my own father died, just before your family whisked you away, after the funeral, Father Quaid called me to one side, and he told me, he insisted, that I should forget all about you. God's name, why would he urge such a thing? He said it was the will of God that we should be kept apart. <sighs> Poor old Lively, eh? I know. Then the family whisked Mary away to Dublin and married her off to another man. Lady never saw her again, I'm told. Oh, he's a dark old, you know. All the years I've known him, he's never let on. Mm. Yeah, I mean, your dad go back a long way, don't they? Back to school days. Oh, yeah. Mm. If Sean was saying you, um, you live in Dublin. Uh-huh. I'm a nursing sister at one of the city hospitals. Oh. You'd like Dublin, I think. Well, if that's an invitation, just put me on the road to Dublin, will you? Oh, oh there he goes, man at work. <laughs> Get down here very often? As often as I can. Yeah? Hello. You're not married, then? Oh, God, no. Yourself? Me? With the edge up. What? No, no. As far as I'm concerned, matrimony, even at its best, is just a friendship that the police recognise. Oh, you have a cynical way about you and all. That's me all over, isn't it? Cynical by nature, smooth of tongue. And English to boot. 
Ah, sure, there's no chance for you. <laughs> Come on, Pipsqueak, catch us some lunch. Shut up. Been see him. Who I see is no concern of yours. You are my sister. You are my concern. Then tell me. For God's sake, tell me. I have a right. So does Lively. He's not come back here for you. I know what he's after. What? What is he after? He's using you. I know what he's come back here for. And by Christ, he's going to get it over my dead body. Damn you, James Ginley. Damn you! It is lovely, isn't it? It surely is. I bet she's nice. Sorry? Whoever you were just thinking about. Well, yeah, yeah, she's nice as it happens. She's in Spain. You know there's a sadness about her, Thomas. Well, to be honest with you, sweetheart... <laughs> what? Quite honest with you, sweetheart. I love the way you speak. Well, you love the way I speak, don't you? Cool. It's rich coming from you, isn't it? I'm sorry, you were saying. No, no, it's not. It's just, uh, we're just going to wind around this time. Should have gone with her. Well, we all need our own space from time to time. Uh, the trouble is, I'm not sure if I can be trusted in my own space. Hey, like it says, oh, one day, all this will be mine. Hello oh, there, Dipper. You still got a gob on? Is it safe to swim here? That shirt's lovely. Do you swim, Thomas? Ah, that's a laugh. Yes, I swim, after a fashion. Well, there's a special beach. I'm going there this afternoon, if you'd like to... Yes, certainly. I'll have some of that. Fine. Don't mind me. Oh, you're welcome as well, Pippa. Thanks. <laughs> I will best be going, then. Um, you know your way home, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, goodbye now. Bye. Then I'll see you later. She seems nice. Yeah. Shall we stay a few days? Well, I'm in no rush to get back. Well, I'll pay a good bonus if the job is done well. Quickly. No comebacks. It's one of those times when I wish we drove on the other side of the road. Oh, you big tart! Ugh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, go, go, sod that! Come on, you big tart! Get him up and get him! Uh, all right, get him on you! Get coming! I'll be an hour or so, no more. Sure, I'll be okay here for a couple of hours or so. Be careful now, OK? I'll treat the old lady like one of my own. It's not my car I'm worried about. Look, I just want to talk to the man. This thing has to be sorted out once and for all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, now. Right, you. Game on. Come on, he's out of your splash! Oh, come here, you. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come Give in, do you? Give in. Now say, put me down nicely, please, Thomas. Put me down nicely, Thomas. Uh, put me down nicely, please, Thomas. Put me down nicely, please, Thomas. All right, then. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> right, you cut me yet, this thing's war! <laughs> You met my racing sardine. <laughs> and you seem such a nice man. Nah. Well, <laughs> as far as she is concerned, sweetheart, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm freezing now. Really? Where's he going? Oh, he's someone to see. He'll come back for us in an hour or so. Did you move away? But you get me all wet. No! Oh, you little tribe! Oh. Get off!
Will I find your special shell? Oh, yes, please. Tell you what, if you find it, I'll put it under my pillow. How's that? Nasty lump on his knee and another on his elbow. Other than that, he's his right as rain. Good. Listen, what's occurring here? Have you got any idea? I'm not sure I understand. Yeah. You see, I got as far as here and uh, I decided I'd go back. So, like an old fool, I tried to turn the car around. Are you sure now there was no other vehicle involved, sir? Oh, no, sir. You see, my foot slipped off the clutch, and then she moved forward so quickly and she finished up on the side there. And then when I got hold, over she went. Mm. It was a good blow into this now. Oh. <laughs> Balloon, we're having a party. <laughs> What's occurring here, Lively? Nothing for you to worry about, Thomas. Nothing to worry about? <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? All that three-point turn stuff was a load of old cobblers, wasn't it? I know there was another car involved. Keep your voice down. All right, there was another car involved. So why didn't you tell the law, then? This is not for the law. I'll sort this out in my own way. Oh, don't give me all that wee walk tall and shoot from the hip crap. Listen, we're talking about some lunatic trying to shove you off a bleeding cliff. I know what we're talking about. And I'm asking you as a friend to keep it between ourselves, OK? As a friend, yeah. But it ain't OK. I want to help. When I want help, you'll be the first I'll send for. Listen, lively. Look, let's get ready for the hooli, all right? A hooli? Oh, yeah. When in doubt, have a Moriarty. <laughs> Thanks a lot for letting us stay with you, mate. You're welcome any time. Cheers. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Now, ladies and gentlemen.
and gentlemen, if I could have your attention for just one moment, please. Before the next song, we have a very special dedication. Tonight, here in the hall with us, we have some new English friends. Now, a big round of applause for Pippa and for Thomas. <laughs> Fix all this up then, eh? I hope you can dance better than you can swim. Dance? Dance? Come on, come on! Have a dance! Short. Mary, how wonderful to see you. Where are the brothers? Uh, I'm alone, Father. Is, um... Oh, indeed he is. Uh, I wouldn't mind, she said, on it. The snaky way he does it. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, a friend of yours oh, here, like me. Mary! <laughs> Have you not asked this lovely girl up to dance yet? I was waiting for her to ask me. It's a lady's choice. Come on. Sit down, have a drink. All right, come on. It's about time, too, John Lively. Forward to that. <laughs> Dear old Lord, they do know how to party here, don't they? <laughs> Ooh, woody diddly diddly diddly. Don't it ever get dark here? It's because we're so far west. Next stop, Boston. Hello, Boston! <laughs> God. It is a bit special, isn't it? You know, a sun setting over Ackill can be one of the most beautiful sights you'll ever see. I've got a fair idea what the most beautiful sight I'm ever likely to see, sweetheart. Oh, there you go again with that silver tongue. Oh, yeah. What was that for? That was for you. This is for me. Inside. You're probably right, nurse. Come on, you wee dudes. We've a lot more dancing to do. Know what I say about dancing, don't you? No. It's a vertical expression of a horizontal desire. Oh, God, will you listen to this man? What are you doing? Hiya. Did you get your sheep delivered on time? <laughs> I did, I did. So, um, how's your daddy? <laughs> He's over there. Would you like to dance? Not very good. I'll teach you. Okay. Come on, 
my shoes out of water. I see you're looking well. What's your cocker? How's it going? Grand, thanks. And yourself? Oh, yeah, thanks. Have the van outside if you want to lift up. Thank you. And for a while, I was giving seminars on Kaylee dancing to the Navajo Indians. <laughs> What? I just wasn't sitting here. Are you listening to yourself, John? I Lennon? was, really. You always had devilment in your eyes. I'm sorry about this, Mary, but <laughs> I'm not going to let this fella have you exclusively to himself. We'll have a dance. He was all right, wasn't he? I mean, he wasn't Tom and Dick or anything. What? Ill. He wasn't feeling sick. I'll find out. I think he's taking my car keys. Oh, no, not again. And there's absolutely no point you girls going, is there? If you don't get yourself in here quick, we'll be leaving without you. But it's stupid. What help are you going to be, eh? Stop your foolish blathering and get in the car. This is madness. The mad fool has taken my shotgun. It's what? My gun. Keep it on here behind the seat. It's gone. Yes. Nice, James, sorry. take it easy, will ya? Once and we'll give me the keys to the wagon. You yes. can't drive an ass, James. Well, give me the keys. And for all. Yeah. Watch your hurry, lads. Don't you think this is taking things too far? Not after this morning's little stunt. No, I don't. Now listen. Put down that gun, John Lively. <laughs> he won't shoot. <laughs> He hasn't got the guts. Oh, no! To the house, quickly! You sure don't know nothing about the smallest business, do you? Not as much. Tell him, James. What's he on about, James? Go to hell, life like Tell him, James. Go to hell! Tell him, go to hell! Tell him, go to hell! Tell him, go to hell! Come on! Stop it! Break it up! Break it off the phone! For God's sake, James! There's nothing worth murder! No, Lively! You know what? What does he know? I don't know anything! Liar! What? Come on, for our ass! Enough, Clay! No, he's here! Clay he knows! James! Get away from me! Get out of here! Get away from here! Get back! Get out of here! It's all right, so Shut up! Down, Get out of here! Stay out of this woman! Stay out of it! I've stayed out of it for 25 years! 25 years of my life! I'll stay out of it no more! No more! Do you hear? He doesn't want you! He's playing games with you! This is what he's after! This is what he's come back for! What are you raving about? You know you can never have her. Tell her! What Father Quaid told you all them years ago! Tell her and be done with it! He told me nothing! You're a liar! You're a liar! Hold on! Get off here! It's ours! Do you hear? It's ours, Lively! What did you say? 
I kill you! Wait, wait. I'll choke the throat out of him! Leave it! She's your half sister. You know that our father bitted your mother. You know that you're our father's bastard kid. You know that, Lively. You know that. And kill him! You knew! You bastard! You knew it! You knew! Well, listen, calm down. Calm down, all right? It's over. Good boy. Well, kill him! Jesus! Lively! Oh! Come here, you stupid uh, thick mick. Listen, you. You don't behave yourself, I'll give you a proper spank. Now, it's not his fault, all right? It's nobody's fault. The important thing is Mary. All you've got to do is talk to her. OK, so when you do that for me, you go and talk to Mary, right? Right? Yeah. Make it back in time now. Thomas! All right, all right. Cassie, not back yet. No, she's picking up a car. Listen, if we're to pick up Lively on the way, we'd best be making a move now. Come on, boys and girls. If you can hear me, James, I really didn't know. Say a little prayer for me. Every day. And when James gets better, tell him I truly didn't know. Why don't you come back and tell him yourself? You've no excuse now, John Lively. Your family here now. Well, I hope you'll both come back and see us again one day. Too right, we will. Here, hang on, that's Cassie behind us. Seen the last of you. Well, did you think I'd let you go off without a decent farewell? You well, had me worried for a minute. Well, no. What? What indeed? Look, sweetheart. It's I... all right. I know. Another time, another place. What about you? I think. Shh, shh, shh. Well, 
you pass be gone. Yeah. Bye, Cassie. Then you see you in Dublin sometime.